ओके सो वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द बेसिसिटी ऑफ बोरिक एसिड नाउ बिफोर वी ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट द बेसिसिटी फर्स्ट विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट बेसिसिटी ऑफ एन एसिड एक्चुअली मीन्स ओके सो फॉर एन एसिड वी कैलकुलेट द बेसिसिटी एंड फॉर अ बेस वी कैलकुलेट द एसिडिटी ओके नाउ वॉट बेसिसिटी मीन्स इन केस ऑफ एन एसिड इज दैट Uh, the number of hydrogen ions h plus ions an acid can give now this one is a particularly ex- this one is a particular exception because it does not uh, releases h plus ions from itself but it releases h plus ions from the water so we are discussing about this particular acid which is boric acid so let's begin first we will try to uh, draw the structure of boric acid All right. So, uh, the structure of uh, boric acid is this: OH, OH, OH. Boron makes three bonds, right? Okay. Now I'm going to write the electronic configuration of boron because if I don't, then the whole purpose of understanding the basicity will fail. So the electronic configuration of boron is one s two, two s two. and 2p1 right okay now how does it make three bonds okay so n- this one is filled 1s2 2s2 and 2p okay two electrons in 2s subshell and in 2p subshell we have just one electron okay so what actually ha- this is in the ground state okay what happens is that this electron jumps to the 2p subshell and boron reaches into an excited state okay so the 1s is not going to stop because the energy difference between 1s and 2p is very high very large so the electron shifting or the electron jump can only occur between these two okay so 1 2 and 3 the electron has jumped uh wait a second let me show it from different color this electron has jumped to this one okay right so uh you have one uh half filled subshell here and here and here so the uh it will make one bond from the oh here one from here and one from here therefore three sigma bonds as you can see 1 2 and 3 right all right that's enough and also uh, one thing you you are able to see that you have one orbital vacant from the 2p subshell okay this one this one is filled uh, this one is uh, vacant so i'm going to draw the vacant one okay it does not have any electrons all right let's begin now i'm going to erase this one so to calculate basicity we drop any acid in water okay so what actually happens is that when we drop and we throw a uh, boric acid in water this is boric acid okay oh 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 okay and it has a vacant uh, orbital a 2p vacant orbital now we have water and water is like this oxygen hydrogen hydrogen and water has basically i mean oxygen in water has two lone pairs all right now uh a uh, boric acid having a vacant orbital acts as a lewis acid okay and h2o having extra lone pairs acts as lewis base okay so you guys might be familiar with the interaction of a lewis acid and a lewis base is that they form a co- they form a coordinate bond okay so what actually happens is oxygen 
donates its two electrons or a single lone pair to boron's uh, vacant uh, orbital and they form a coordinate bond but uh, when oxygen donates its its lone pair to boron it gains a positive charge right now oxygen is a very highly electronegative ele element and a very highly electron el uh, and a very highly electronegative element does not want to carry a positive charge it likes negative charge okay so what actually happens is uh, this oh bond has two electrons right so what oxygen does is he keeps its electron because this was oxygen itself and he keeps this one also i mean he snatches it snatches the uh, hydrogen's electron and this thing breaks off and H plus H plus is released all right so boric acid does not release H plus from its own uh, structure but it releases H plus by interacting with water and it basically re releases H plus from the water molecule so the basicity of boric acid will be one all right that's it uh, this is a particular case. It's an exception. So you guys will have to memorize this one. Uh, I hope I have explained it pretty well. And if you guys have, have any queries, uh, please do write it on the comments in the comment section. And please like and subscribe if you found if you if you are finding the videos informative. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.